Good evening and welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. I'm Megan Skaggs. We are getting our first look at the damage left after a riot at a central Kentucky prison. Buildings gutted, windows shattered, and equipment were destroyed in the riot at the North Point Training Center just outside Danville. The damage is so severe to some buildings that Justice and Public Safety Secretary J. Michael Brown says they will have to be torn down. The riot forced the relocation of nearly half of the facility's 1,200 prisoners. There were no serious injuries in the riot. After heated discussions and outrage over the use of unsightly above-ground utilities along Lexington's Newtown Pike Extension project, the state is burying the debate. Just one day before that long-awaited project ramps up, Governor Bashir and Mayor Jim Newberry announced those utilities will now be underground. ABC 36's Alyssa Dos Santos has the story. The best ideas sometimes take a while to nurture, to plan, and to make a reality. A reality that will now be easier on the eye thanks to new efforts in the Newtown Pike Extension Project. Burying the lines had not been contemplated in the original plans, which as many of you know are extensive and involve a lot of moving parts. But plans can change. And plans have changed. KU estimates the cost of burying the lines will be 8 to 12 times more expensive than above-ground utilities. Mayor Newberry says it's worth the cost, as hundreds of thousands of world equestrian visitors will stream into the city next year. This is a project that has meaning far beyond just a couple of weeks in September and October of 2010. The governor says the extension will reduce congestion downtown, make it easier for cyclists and pedestrians to get around, and provide better access to UK and several hospitals. This is not just a road project, it's also a trail project. It's, a, it's an aesthetic project. It's a social project. The city, the transportation cabinet, and Kentucky Utilities are teaming up to bury the power lines. Initial efforts on the project, the clearing and grubbing work, will begin as early as this week. Alyssa DeSantos, ABC 36 News. So where will the money come from to pay for this? Since it's a state-funded pro state project, the funds will come from the state transportation cabinet's contingency funds. The governor says they'll have an exact cost after meeting with Kentucky Utilities later this week. But previous numbers from KU estimated the cost to be $475 a linear foot for underground utilities versus $35 a linear foot for above-ground utilities. That is going to do it for this ABC 36 News update. You can always get the latest news, weather, and sports by logging on to our website, wtvq.com.